Hey there. Welcome to today's live stream. Let me know in the comments if everything sounds okay. And if you can see me clearly. Hope you enjoy the music today. This first song is called The Prize. Let us know in the comments where you're listening from. One, two, three, four. I had a one-way conversation with me, myself, and I About the way we've been living Can't imagine why To get to where we're going It's a clouded compromise You're mistaking everything I'm taking My eyes off the prize Maybe I've been distracted Quite possibly you're right this big old bright and shining world has kept me up at night We all know that prize tag shouldn't come as no surprise You're mistaking everything I'm taking My eyes off the prize Some days I live with no regrets Some days I just as soon forget Some days a diamond, some a stone Some things I just as soon so where does all this leave me i can't really say i know i got more questions than answers quite a ways to go you can't let that deter me this I realize, you're mistaking everything I'm taking My eyes off the prize Some days I live with no regrets Some days I just as soon forget Some days a diamond, some a stone Some things I just as soon leave alone I had a one-way conversation with me, myself, and I about the way we've been living. Can't imagine why to get to where we're going. It's a cloud of compromise, and you're mistaking everything I'm taking. My eyes off the prize. My eyes off the prize. My eyes off the prize. Good fun. Well, it's 10 a.m. here where I'm coming to you from. I'm in uh, Montana. And uh, this is the first stream I've done from my new studio. Uh, so that's very exciting. I, uh, I built this space over the last six months or so. I took somewhat of a sabbatical from music, to be honest. And uh, it's nice to be back, nice to be playing, and uh, nice to be with you all. I'm experimenting with this different time slot, which is uh, you know, a morning slot, which, to be honest, if I think about the most natural time for me to play music, I'm a morning person. I love to practice in the morning. And uh, if I get on stage at 8 p.m., I don't feel I'm playing necessarily my best. So I like to play in the morning. So maybe we can uh, make this a regular time slot. We'll see how many people uh, feel the same way. Uh, can I make a request, request, please, Joe Robinson? Rishi Bob, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, but absolutely, please make a request. Go ahead. Um, Roger says, hi from Oregon. Scott Pett says, hey, Joe, I'm turning 64 later this month, requesting when I'm 64. If that's not one you play, any originals would be just as good. Thank you. I, I don't know how to play uh, When I'm 64 by the Beatles, but I do like that song. Um, it's actually my mom's birthday today, so happy birthday to my mom. Uh, yeah, good times. Well, I'm going to switch up here and play some electric guitar. Hopefully everything sounds... Uh, Great. That's what I'm aiming for. <laughs> Excellence. If I should I should have mentioned if anyone wants to be notified about these streams, 
be sure to click the link below, which is linked in the description somewhere where it says live stream emails, because I send out a little notice when I'm announcing a stream with the link and the time and everything so that you can keep up with it if you choose. Okay, here we go. This song is called Mindless. What's up next? And I listen to the endless chatter Knowing it's never gonna matter Cause when I get to your door And I step into The world waiting for me and you Nothing we need to do or say To be swept away Please you tell 
like it too When nothing can reach us Nothing can keep us from a love We melt into When I get my less When I get my less When I get my less My less with you Good, good fun. Alex says, happy birthday to your mum, Joe. Would be dope if you performed something on the Gibson L00 yesterday, for instance. Well, I don't have that guitar close by me right now, but otherwise I would. Washington Street, Castle, Germany, Louisiana, Latvia. Amazing. I see a request to play Tears in Heaven. I learned it from... You absolutely love your rendition. Thank you. Well, I, I didn't play Tears in Heaven for you. That's a that's a good idea. That's such a such a beautiful song. You just check my tuning here. Tune because I care. <laughs> if you are enjoying the music, I have a, a tip jar set up, and you can leave a tip if you choose to do so. Thank you in advance to anybody who chooses to leave a tip. And I also have uh, some albums. I have seven albums here. These are on CD and I have vinyl versions as well. And I wanted to let you know that The Bird Seed and Let Me Introduce You to Albums are not going to be reprinted. So I'm kind of like selling the last copies of those at the moment. So if you want to uh, kind of have the full collection, then it's kind of like the last chance to do so. If you don't already and that should all be linked in the description of this video floating around there somewhere okay here we go tears in heaven
Thanks very much for that great request. That, of course, was Tears in Heaven by Eric Clapton. And for anyone who's just joining in, welcome. My name is Joe Robinson. I'm sorry, you might hear a dog barking outside. That's our dog, Waffle. And our neighbor's driving a tractor <laughs> down the road at the moment, so she's going a little berserk. Uh, you know, this is my new studio. I, I got a kind of a new setup here, and I'm dialing it in and getting it optimized and you know I learned things every time I stream and today I learned not to have let waffle be just outside <laughs> um, I, I saw a request there and I, I, I think I'll play it I played a couple original songs to begin with and that of course was written by Eric Clapton and I think I'll play a, another cover which was requested this black magic woman so I have a version of Black Magic Woman, and I kind of have this, uh, um, yeah, solo acoustic rendition worked out. I've been curious, Joe, if you do any kinds of shows or session work with bands slash artists besides solo career, Joe. Yeah, I used to do a lot of that in, in Nashville. I was a session musician, and to be honest, I, I, I really enjoyed a lot of aspects of being a session player, but I always felt like it just wasn't my, my purpose. <laughs> Uh, and uh, there is nothing worse or there's nothing more difficult as a musician than playing music that you don't feel connected to and that's a large part of what being a session musician is is you have to play whatever is asked of you and I really struggle with that I have a lot of admiration actually for players who do sessions full time and somehow manage to bring 110 and 10% to every single session because the best players I know in that world really do that and that's yeah it's really quite incredible okay here we go uh black magic woman Let's see if i can get through it Black magic woman. I've got a black magic woman. I've got a black magic woman. She's got me so blind I can't see. But she's a black magic woman trying to make a devil out of me. You got your spell on me, baby. You got your spell on me, baby. You got your spell on me, baby, turning my heart into stone. I need you so bad, magic woman, can't leave you alone. your spell on me baby you've got your spell on me baby you've got your spell on me baby 
turning my heart into stone And I need you so bad, magic woman, can't leave you alone go something like that black magic woman on one guitar uh, dave says listen to you on a both system sounds amazing keep up the great work from a windy dublin island thanks dave it's quite windy here too at the moment andrew says loving you in scotland yeah one of the benefits of this time slot which is earlier in the morning here where i'm in in montana is it's a much uh, generally an easier time for people in europe to tune in so i appreciate that hello from taiwan is there a chance to release the tab of fiji Thank you for the request. Uh, it will definitely be available eventually. I just, I kind of like to record my songs on an album before I generally like finalize the tab. Because if I create the tab now, when I record the album version of that song, which I, uh, it's kind of on my to-do list, I might change a few things. <laughs> and so I kind of like to wait until I've like recorded it and it's, and it's finished before I tab it out. Uh, so that's kind of what's going on with, with, uh, the song flow, uh, super chat, $10. Thank you. I uh, love the live streams. Any plans to come to Utah? I do not have plans to come to Utah, but, uh, I certainly love Utah. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. Not too far from here in Montana. TJ Bourne says, what gauge strings do you use on that maiden? Uh, I have a 14 on top and then I have a set of 12 to 54 so I just don't use the 12. In fact, if anyone wants some spare 12s, I have <laughs> I have a lot of them because <laughs> I just don't use the 12 and I put a 14 on top. Uh, so that, that, that's the gauge of string of choice with this particular guitar. Um, Tony, Toby says, great job from California. Love your style. I appreciate that. Stefan says, best wishes from Germany. Thank you. Greetings from Poland, says Hubert. Very, very cool. Well, uh, I'm going to play another song. I might play Fiji since it was uh, requested by this gentleman from Taiwan, or lady, I'm not sure. And uh, I hope you all are enjoying the music. I do have a virtual tip jar set up. If anyone likes the show and wants to leave a tip, it's kind of like a virtual ticket to the show. Thank you in advance to anyone who chooses to do that. And I have some uh, CDs here. Uh, where they go? Here they are. It's the final... Uh, prints of these two albums, Birdseed and Let Me Introduce You. I just have a handful of copies left, and so I'm selling them in this kind of big collector bundle. And uh, there you go. It's the last chance to get these because I'm not planning on reprinting them. I'm getting out of the CD business, to be honest. <laughs> a lot of people don't have CD players anymore, but many people do. I, I, I do know I have a CD player in, in uh, the vehicles we drive. And I like listening to music because there's no there's no radio stations where we live to be honest. Okay, Fiji. Let me just put a capo on here. Here we go. I wrote this song when I was in Fiji. Many quite a few years ago, six years ago, seven years ago, maybe.
Thank you very much for that request. So I uh, see a question there from Alex that I'd, I'd like to address. Um, Alex said uh, he really liked the, the video I made called Talent is BS, um, and that I like, used to wake up at 4, a, 4 a.m. or 4.30 a.m. to practice. Can you tell us more about your schedule these days? And he also asked what time would I go to bed if I was waking up at 4 a.m.? Uh, so. I started the 4 a.m. routine when I was probably about 14, 15 years old, almost uh, 20 years ago now. I'm 30, 33 uh, next month. Um, and uh, I, I was going to bed at 8 p.m., something like that, 9 p.m. Uh, it's kind of like once you get in the groove of waking up early, you start to get tired in the evenings. And I, I feel most productive and I, like I can think clearly. Uh, in the morning and in the evenings, I usually get kind of sleepy, and um, that's just the way I'm wired. I understand that some people are night owls, and uh, I don't happen to be one of those people. My schedule back in those days, I had a little uh, a whiteboard on my wall, and I had uh, like actually uh, for a little while I had a white a whiteboard, and then I had like printed out schedules. And basically, I'd do a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I'd have three and a half hours um, to practice in the morning. So from like 4, 4.30 until like 7, I guess, something like that. And then I'd get on the bus um, to school. Usually, I'd get up and ha I'd have a, an a I'd eat an apple. And uh, sometimes, I'd take a shower. Um, but then I'd yeah, practice for three and a half hours. And usually, I'd warm up with my exercises that I have courses on all the exercises I did daily exercises is the course with the the exercises invisible technique is my teaching website invisible technique.com and uh, I would do those exercises and then I would have a schedule that was broken up into 15 minute increments for th those three and a half hours so it might look something like 15 minutes of stretching and warming up 15 minutes of right hand exercises 15 minutes of playing my songs very slowly with a metronome, 15 minutes of learning a new song, 15 minutes of working on a really difficult passage in another song, 15 minutes of improvising using a particular scale, 15 minutes of, it just goes on and on and on. And uh, in, I, I have a lot of lessons on that Invisible Technique site and in my coaching community, I have a um, uh, basically a masterclass on how I would practice and what I would practice and all the different kind of categories the practicing could fit into because obviously there's limit limitless number of songs you can you can play in practice uh, but there's a kind of limited amount of things that I'm working on uh, when I'm when I'm playing things like dynamics timing touch that kind of thing so there we go I don't want to talk too much because I do want to keep on playing but if you're uh if you're on my Invisible Technique email list, stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a, like a free workshop for everybody uh, soon and I'll send you a message about that. If you're not on the Invisible Technique email list, then there's a link in the video description that says uh, like freebies or free tabs, something like that. I have a, 
basically a, a link where you can get a lot of free backing tracks and tab and things from me. So do check that out if you're a guitarist. Um, TL Mew says, a lot of your instructional material seems aimed at career musicians, and it seems great for encouraging that kind of mastery. Any specific bang for buck advice for us ho hobbyists? Well, actually, my biggest uh, selling courses is my beginner and intermediate fingerstyle courses and those are definitely not aimed at uh, career musicians in fact I have I really have two courses that are aimed at career musicians one is my uh, Joe's 12 course and then the other one is my recording course which is kind of more of a professional um, level of recording uh, course but most of my material is for people who just like to play for fun so any specific bang for advice bang for buck advice for us ho hobbyists yeah I think just getting into a good groove with practicing is is when I feel the most uh, inspired and um, connected to music so yeah just just ca carving out a little bit of deliberate practice each day and finding some great songs to learn setting some goals for yourself uh, finding someone to learn from you c it can be in-person lessons it can be online courses it can be YouTube videos but I find that to be a bit of a rabbit hole um, so yeah uh, I have some of the fingerstyle courses but I'm thinking more of exercises what subset of them is best um, well uh, for exercises if you want exercises then my fingerstyle courses are a real like step-by-step -step program that builds you up to playing songs like freight train windy and warm and that kind of thing and my daily exercises course is a series of hand exercises and finger exercises that uh, just a great workout um, but yeah I think I think repertoire learning a lot of great tunes um, playing them for your friends uh, even if you don't really want to be a performer just sharing music with people is a wonderful thing so anyway Chris says, conscious practice is so important. I do sometimes take a free-for-all day when I play whatever my heart takes me. It's always joyous. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Yeah, there's there's definitely like a difference between practicing and playing in, in my in my view. And playing is just a joyful expression and practicing is, is very hard <laughs> and involves a lot of focus. Both have their place, of course. <laughs> He trained my thumb well. I'm glad to hear that. I have about 20 minutes left in the stream, so I would like to, to keep on rolling through some music. And uh, I'll get the electric guitar back up here. And uh, I did write a list of songs I was going to play. I don't think I've played any of them. <laughs> Just consulting my list here. I think I'll play a song called The Ghost of Al Capone, and I'm going to try to play it on an electric guitar, which is different than the way I usually play it, so we'll see how this goes. This is a song I wrote about the gangster Al Capone. Quite the character he was. Became a banjo player. Not many people know that. They think of him as this tough gangster, but he was actually a banjo player when he went to Alcatraz according to myth <laughs> so this is a song about a dream I had where I met Al Capone and he told me all about his banjo plan <laughs> There's a castle out in Franklin, off old Hillsboro Road, called by Al Capone, his Tennessee abode. It's on the way to Leaper's Fork, 20 miles south of Nashville. Rumors are there's gold buried in those hills. I moved in just down the street in the winter of 15. A restless spirit lingered in my January dreams. I can't explain, but I could sense the ghost of Al Capone. Breathing on the cold glass of my snow-covered home I 
thought it was paranoia till I saw him eye to eye and in lucid conversation he spoke of days gone by of roulette wheels, tommy guns, lawmen on his back cigar smoking snooker, his bulletproof Cadillac said he built that castle as a halfway point from Illinois to New Orleans a clandestine gambling joint and after my encounter I felt like I knew this man but his twisted motivations I just couldn't understand The notorious bootlegger Smuggle Templeton Rye From the rum runners of the East Coast When America was dry To some he was a hero A modern day Robin Hood To some a killer and a thief Devoid of any good They finally caught up with him in 1931 Locked him up for tax evasion And his gambling days were done They sent him way out west To the island in the bay Surrounded by men eating sharks, his cell was cold and gray. But in vivid technicolor, he heard a melody. And on a pre war Gibson, he was once again set free. Now I hear banjos on the magnolia breeze. There's a black crow perched in the wicked winter freeze outside my window. Right off of the Natchez Trace From Alabama to Alcatraz They call him Scarface The warden has me licked He wrote in ration ink Some nuts stabbed him with scissors And Capone did barely blink he clubbed him with his banjo in a fit of gangster rage. And just another morning in the California cage. And after some good behavior, they let him strum again. And his ragged band of inmates turned to soulful music men. They called themselves the Rock Islanders and word spread throughout the land. Till every prisoner was jealous and wanted to join the band. Now I hear banjo. On the magnolia breeze There's a black crow Perched in the wicked winter freeze Outside my window Right off of the Natchez Trace From Alabama to Alcatraz They call him Scarface Does such a soul belong? You after a story, life of crime, died a man of song. 
to this day out on the water at the setting of the sun you can hear a ghostly banjo in cell 181 <laughs> yeah there we go <clears throat> uh, see a comment there about using a single mic for re recording yeah I, I have a um an amp behind that door in a little kind of amp room and that amp has a mic on it and then I have this mic which you can see in the camera right here and, and this mic picks up my voice as well as my acoustic guitar so it's just it's just two channels going to you right now there's my amp and when I turn the amp off all you're getting is one channel which is just this one mic that picks up the guitar and voice and if you get it placed just right then it usually sounds really good. I missed the guitars and bookshelf. I didn't realize I had guitars in the background. I can suddenly throw a few back there. <laughs> uh, but I do think this space sounds better. Rosemary says, hand sewing while listening. Man, your studio set up. Oh, I can't read the comment. It, it, I can't scroll through the comments on this uh, little comment feed thing I got, but Thanks for uh, en enjoying the music, Rosemary, and I'm glad you're doing some hand sewing. I love hearing about people's routines. When I was doing these streams weekly, people would um, tell me that they would do their cleaning and and different tasks while listening to the streams. So. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Who is your favorite guitarist? I have many favorites. Uh, Tommy Emmanuel certainly has been a big hero and inspiration of mine for many years. And uh, Django Reinhardt would be another big one for me. Uh, Chet Atkins, of course, with his beautiful finesse and touch and uh, just uh, classy playing. Jerry Reed. Electric players like Robin Ford, Eric Johnson, Jeff Beck. with the solo do you rely more on the scales or arpeggios or both I would say but more on scales uh, arpeggios certainly fit into the equation but uh, yeah it's it's really kind of like the way I think about improvising is it's kind of like speaking when you are having a conversation with somebody you've learnt all these words and what they mean and the vocabulary but you're not thinking about like consciously how to say a word or like how to spell spell the word you're just speaking and that's what improvising becomes I'm working on an improvising course at the moment actually I'm going to start filming it next week and I've been thinking a lot about this and to me when you learn to play solos on the guitar you need to learn well I think uh, it's worth learning all you can about the scales and the arpeggios and how it all fits together but there comes a point where you don't need to think about that anymore. You can just speak, and that's that's the goal. And there's a lot of people who who can speak fluently in this way, in the context of blues and rock and roll, and that's totally accessible to anybody. I think uh, a lot of the best blues guitar players I would consider to be intermediate level players. Uh, and that's not to say they aren't masterful at what they do, but compared to someone like a Paco de Lucia or a Segovia or a Tommy Emmanuel or Chet Atkins, there's a different level of uh, commitment needed to play in that way. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's kind kind of what what I want to. The message I want to share is like anyone can learn to, to be expressive on an instrument to play blues and rock and roll and popular music. It doesn't require a lifetime of obsessive dedication, as opposed to something like jazz, which is is really a kind of another another level. Any favorite f finger style females or woman bass players? Well, Tal Wilkenfeld's an amazing bass player. She and I, uh, you know, we collaborated together a little bit. 
many years ago. I haven't seen her in a long time. Uh, one of my favorite guitarists, period, was Emily Remler, who uh, passed away. Um, yeah, when I was I was probably a kid. I think it was in the nineties. She passed away, but she was a fantastic jazz guitarist, uh, very influenced by Wes Montgomery, and uh, yeah, of course there are many incredible female guitarists, but a Emily was particularly influential on me. Geordie, Joe mate, I saw you when I was a young fella in Port Macquarie, New South Wales. I now live in the States and run a documentary film agency. Wow, always been a fan. I think we can make something sick of you. Any interest? Yeah, yeah, d definitely uh, reach out. There's a con contact information on my website and you can send me an email and I'll make sure it gets, gets to me. And Yeah, that's very cool. It's always nice to meet fellow expats. Jake Lee says, why so many guitars don't sound in tune well with the capo? Any tips or secrets? I got a, I got a few secrets. So the, the, the most uh, most important one, I think, is when you put the capo on, it doesn't matter what kind of capo on you, you're using, you, you put the capo on, and then you push the strings down like this. You just push them down so that any, t any kind of slack... Uh, because when the, the capo kind of pulls the string sharp and when you push down with the right hand, it kind of uh, brings them back. <laughs> so you put the capo on and then you stretch the strings down like that. N not, not Nothing too crazy and then kind of check tuning and usually it's pr pretty good. Uh, this G7 capo, it's pretty handy to use when I'm just playing around the house, but I don't use these on stage because I find that uh, they're just not like, they don't give a strong enough grip. <laughs> I use this uh, Shub Capo, which is like, these cost $20. They're not, it's nothing uh, particularly fancy. Uh, but this is probably my, um, yeah, top Capo recommendation is the Shub. And uh, you just got to get the tension to be just right. Another tip is just to have a guitar that's set up well to play. So if your guitar has a straight neck and, uh, and the nut and saddle and frets are all in harmony. It takes an experienced luthier to set up an acoustic guitar so that it's very easy to play and the the height of the saddle and the nut and everything is just just right. Um, that really helps because if your if your instrument like has if the nut's too high, then when you put the capo on, it's kind of it's not going to stay in tune properly necessarily. Now, if the neck is has too much relief in it, that can create problems with intonation. Um, so there's kind of a few variables like that. So, um, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Taking notes. <laughs> Good. Well, I got time for one more song. I wanted to say thank you very much for uh, tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the music. I'm planning on making these uh, streams more regular as I go forward. I'm set up in my new space here, which is which is really fun. And uh, I have a tip jar link. The tip jar link is joerobinson.com slash tip jar, T-I-P-J-A-R. And thank you in advance to anyone who chooses to leave a tip. My teaching website is invisibletechnique.com. And that's where you can find my courses and whatnot. And uh, don't forget to sign up for the freebies link if you haven't already because there's lots of free tab and backing tracks. And finally, I have a series of albums. There's seven albums here. And two, two of these albums are going away. I'm not printing any more of them, and I got like the final few copies left. Birdseed, and let me introduce you. One's from 2005. It's my earliest album, and one's from 2011. And uh, yeah, if you want to own the collection, then this is your last chance to do so. I worked in South Korea in 2022 as a musician, and was about to buy Tommy Emmanuel Maiden signature. Um, Bought, bought a Fersh instead. Fersh is a great guitar as well. They're made in the Czech Republic, I believe. I've got a lot of good friends in the Czech Republic. Uh, not a lot of good friends, but I really love the people of the Czech Republic and I have some friends over there. Um, yeah, the Maiden guitars are, are great. I certainly do enjoy playing them. Well, I think I'm going to play a song by Gordon Lightfoot called Shadows to finish up with. I just really like this song.
looking forward to listening back to some of this stream and hearing what the sound is like. Sounds good in my headphones. So there's a tapo. It stays pretty well in tune. Child, love and touch you. Let me hold you for a while. I've been all around this world and still I long to see you smile. There's a shadow on the moon and the waters here below do not shine the way they should. And I love you just in case you didn't know. Let it go. Let it happen like it happened once before. It's a wicked wind and it chills me to the bone And if you do not believe me Come and gaze upon the shadows at your door Won't you lie down by me, baby Run your fingers through my hands I've been all around this town And still I do not understand Is it me or is it you? Or the shadow of a dream? Is it wrong to be in love? Could it be the finest love I've ever seen? Set it free and let it happen like it happened once before. It's a wicked wind and it chills me to the bone. And if you do not believe me, come and gaze upon the shadows at your door. by me baby please kiss me gently darling where the river runs away in the mountains and the springtime on a blue and windy day where there's beauty all around and the shades of night grow deep where the morning stars grow dim that will find us in the shadows fast asleep let it go and let it happen like it happened before it's a wicked wind and it chills me to the bone and if you do not believe me come and gaze upon the shadows at your door everybody has a great rest of their weekends take good care thanks very much for tuning in to the music and i'll see you again really soon jay says really nice joe greetings everyone from bismarck north dakota it's gonna be 80 here today yay yeah it's a beautiful day here in montana today as well so uh take good care everybody see you all again real soon <laughs>